a lot of times it's they are very they are the expert in their industry right and they come in thinking that that's all it takes they're the technician and they don't look at it from a different point of view they don't they think they know everything and and of course nobody knows everything but they have these blinders that it has to be like this and uh, they'll come in and and we'll talk about it and we do a whole health check on their on their business if they want and uh, and we try to find out where their gaps are and if they have gaps uh, we try to fill those gaps. We try to help them if they if they need accounting. We hook them up with a uh, an accountant. If they need bookkeeping or or they need marketing, we hook them up with the people that do that. Uh, it's just going on it alone and thinking that that they can do it their own, and, and right. then they get into some isu- issues and some problems where they're like, uh oh, it's about you know it's it's I'm too far gone. And do you find a lot of businesses kind of hit a point where they can't expand any further and it's because of those choices they've made or, or what it, what is usually the problem? Is it, is it there? Like for us, I can tell you back when we were kind of going through that tilt, that kind of pivot point, uh, it was that I'm the person doing the sales. I'm also the person doing a lot of the programming or whatever it is we were doing. You get to the end of a job and start realizing you got to go find the next one and you're doing that constant sway back and forth. Is it so delegation and stuff like that? So, I mean, what is, what is it usually you see with the businesses that are going into a growth period? What is limiting them? So that that's a big question, actually, because there's a number of things that, that could be not working right for you to go to that next level. Um, but a lot of times if you start a company and this is your baby – you don't want to let go of it. Right. They, they're like, they have to touch everything. And they the the level of trust, even though they may trust somebody, they know that they're the expert and they, they have a hard time letting go. And if you're doing everything, you're limited to that capacity and right. you're limited to what you can do. And technically, it's only 24-7, right? right? So you've got to find so that so, amount of time. So, right? Yeah, so you, you, uh, you burn out very fast. Um, you still have the gaps that you never addressed and your business is uh, you know, cavitating. Do you find that, uh, the, those businesses are usually selling time or are they transitioning to, or is it better to transition into selling more of like a product or value or what? It all depends. It's, it's setting goals that, uh, that need to be, I mean, you can definitely set these goals. So if you have a schedule that will meet your goals and you've never brought anybody else to help you with that schedule, then you're not you're not expanding. You can only do a finite amount of amount of work ever. Um, so a lot of times we'll we'll sit down and we'll create these goals. We want to see where you want to be in a year, three years, five years, and then we say these are the things you have to have. Uh, job descriptions are huge yeah. in expanding you know uh, if you have 15 different jobs that that need to be done and three people are doing 14 of them that one job still ain't getting right. done so we haven't we haven't addressed the issues so that's just kind of seeing how it works and and what it's going to take to get to the next level and even if you can get to the next level without a machine a person a process something uh, and that could be either uh, a product that you're making and selling or a service. It has, it's about the same.